The physicist William Pollard is quoted as saying, learning and innovation go hand in hand. The arrogance of success is to think that what you did yesterday will be sufficient for tomorrow. Well, for this Comarch podcast, we talk with Andy Vector, National Specification Manager for the Building Envelope, United States Gypsum Company. They're a great example of a building product manufacturer focused on key issues impacting the built environment. This podcast is about reducing risk, saving money, faster installation by using Secure Rock ExoAir 430. Here we go. Andy, Dean. great to meet you. Nice to meet you. So tell me about your background. You've been here 18 years. I've been with USG 18 years. Um, I started off as a retail rep with USG. I've always been in sales. Uh, but a retail rep, then I was an architectural sales rep uh, for about 10 years here locally in Chicago. And uh, now I'm, my current position, I'm the uh, building envelope specification manager uh, for USG. Pretty important so. role. So are you working <laughs> with ARC? <laughs> it is, it's really important. Thank you, yeah. Because you're bringing the intelligence that they're not necessarily going to have in-house. Right. They have a lot of questions and they can't put anything at risk and you're helping them manage that. Right, exactly. We, we, I try to be there their resource, and not just me personally, but the, the team, building envelope team, to be their resource for anything they, questions they can have about the building envelope. So who are you meeting with at the architectural team? We meet with specifiers, uh, we meet with project architects. Um, many times we're meeting with consultants that the architect might, might hire uh, in the building envelope. Uh, those are the primary uh, folks we're meeting with though in the firm. What are some of the questions they ask? Um, specific to this product? Specific to this product? They're, well, with, with the building envelope, there's, there's risk. They, they are trying to design uh, systems that will reduce their risk of failure. And so a lot of their questions are around um, design uh, issues and, and things that come up on a project uh, that they can avoid a failure down the road. And so uh, that, that's the basis of most questions. What's the history of USG? How did it get started? How did we get to the point where we are? There's been a lot of talk about the transitions that have gone in this organization, I don't know, maybe 10 years. So could we talk a little bit about that? Sure. Well, so uh, USG is over 100 years old. Um, we started off uh, uh, mostly independent gypsum mines that got together and created US gypsum. Um, our biggest product line is our sheetrock brand of gypsum panels, uh, which uh, gypsum panels were, were uh, invented in the early 1900s by USG uh, and has uh, become uh, the biggest, uh, uh, sheetrock is the, the biggest uh, brand of gypsum panels in North America. Um, over the last 10 years, um, our architectural teams have grown substantially, so there are uh, many more specific teams calling on architectural firms than there, than there were, say, 10 years ago. Um, so we have specific teams calling on architects for ceilings, gypsum, uh, building envelope. Uh, so there's a variety of uh, reps now calling on architectural firms and contractors. The experts are out in the market. Yes. So let's talk about Secure Rock XOAIR 430 and how an architect would compare it to, let's just take one other competitor, you don't have to say who it is, okay. but let's line them up and how are they going to evaluate those products? Okay, um, so what I would say there is is the key uh, component to our system versus competitors is that ours has a uh, an actual membrane applied to the surface and that is is important in making sure that it performs to the same level as traditional fluid applied on glass mat sheathing. If it doesn't have a membrane, then you have to question how that is going to uh, compare. Ours does have a membrane. The product itself uh, is our secure out glass mat sheathing with the uh, Tremco uh, air barrier uh, applied in the factory. Uh, it's cured there in the factory and then delivers to the job site together. All right, so you're, you're combining two steps of installation into one. And depending on the design of the building, uh, once you get the panels up and the joints treated and the fasteners treated, and you're using their Tremco Demonic 100 typically for that, 
um, the, uh, you could have as much as 85% of your air barrier already installed. So what is the promise land for this type of product? Like, what are those aspects that just make it that we're not going to look at anyone else? It's, it's about going back to reducing the risk of failure down the road um, and saving time and money. We, we don't see uh, competitive equal products to ours. Uh, we really think we compete with traditionally applied uh, installed fluid on glass mat sheathing. The types of projects that we've had uh, particular success on with this product have, have been schoolwork, hospitals, uh, data centers. Uh, these are all, all owners that are going to be in the building a long time. They're not, uh, they've got a long uh, horizon and uh, they have a very uh, low tolerance for failure. For Securoc XOR 430, there are a number of different things you've done to make sure that trust is escalated in the product, that risk is managed out, and that an entire team represents this brand. It's a lot of power that most companies can't provide. Let's go through what are those elements. Okay. Um, well, uh, we have a, an architectural team calling on the architects uh, directly, uh, helping them in the early stages of design. Uh, then, once the project bids and the contractors and GCs are awarded, we have a team of, of reps that also call on the contractors and distributors and work with them on the job site, uh, helping out with uh, any installation type questions or, uh, or issues that can come up there. So we really try to to step the project through early phases of design all the way through installation with our different teams. Everything is managed. Everything is managed. It's pretty powerful. Very powerful. Not, not, I don't know of many companies that will do that uh, in the field like we will. Especially today with the issues that are being confronted with labor. Right, the labor shortages are uh, in most markets are are very difficult to manage and so our teams being out there to help with installation questions that can bog them down or uh, uh, slow the project down uh, keeps things moving and uh, uh, helps to uh, keep the project going forward. Great product, great company, so much trust there. I'm an architect and I'm reviewing products. How do I reach out to make sure that I get the data I need to do the proper evaluation? Okay, there's a couple of different ways uh, uh, that we can connect with, the, uh, with you, with the architects. Um, we could, you could go to uh, www.securocxoware.com, which is our, our website around the product, and the, uh, or we could have a local rep uh, contact you in your market, and there's a number of them. We could do lunch and learns, uh, product updates, um, all those types of things uh, uh, to tell you more about this system. Excellent. Thank you. Thanks for doing this. Thank you.